Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is J. Pico Death checking back in for another cooking video. Uh, there has been some discussion lately about tacos, and it kind of made me realize that I have never followed up with my recipe for um, beef tacos. Um, well, specifically the, the, the mix that goes into a taco. Um, you know, once it goes into a shell, you can put whatever you want to on it. That's all personal preference. But uh, just to make this up from scratch um, is what we're going to try to do today. I gave you a recipe for chicken taco meat last year. Um, and this one was just always, I never really followed up on it. Honestly, I don't even think I've made it since that time last year. So that's probably why it's not been recorded. But I did find uh, a good deal on some beef. Uh, let's see here. I've got about uh, just under four pounds of beef that we are going to be using. This is a 90-10 mix. I don't prefer that my tacos are terribly greasy. Um, and of course, if you are paying a little bit less money for an 80-20 split of beef, you're going to have uh, some of that beef that you drain off is going to uh, go to waste. So I, I'd rather spend the extra 10 cents a pound to have uh, more meat and less waste. But today we're also going to be cooking with, uh, we have one diced red bell pepper, we have a half of a yellow onion. I was going to use a small one, but uh, all of them are medium towards large, so I got a, just about a half of one. I've got two cloves of fresh minced garlic. I have an eight ounce can here of uh, tomato sauce. And of course my Mexican, Mexican spice seasoning. Uh, that we made up. I think that that recipe is somewhere. I'll have to figure out exactly where we linked it. Um, I'm not sure if it's in my queso video or in my taco video. Um, we'll find out. But um, if you're not going to be using this kind of a spice, uh, then even the, the standard um, over-the-counter taco seasoning would, would suffice, at least get you in, in a close proximity. Um, and we may or may not end up needing uh, some extra um, chili powder, depending on how I'm feeling this mix is going. So I've had this pan warming up. Uh, we've got it about on medium heat. We're going to go ahead and get this in the pan. And I'm going to go wash my hands and be back in a second. Okay, thanks to the magic of video editing, we are done. I'm gonna grab a uh, wooden spoon here. I'm gonna start breaking this meat up. Like I said, we're just under four pounds of beef, but I do wanna get this all cooked in with um, the vegetables as well. So we're gonna be able to use the fat from the beef that we have to cook up the vegetables. So, heck, just adding this beef in the pan took out a lot of the uh, heat from it. And I'm starting to wonder if I should have used a taller pot or if this is going to get messy here in a minute. We're going to find out. Um, I'm going to start by just putting these green, uh, sorry, red peppers on top. Get them in in the pan. Uh, the steam from the beef is going to start softening them up. But we'll leave them on top for now. As well as the yellow onion, which hopefully I've diced it okay. I'm hoping that these pieces are largely going to disappear um, when they get cooked down. Um, my children are not a big fan of the idea of eating onions and peppers, so any time that they can kind of disappear into food and they don't even know they're there, that's a win for me. And we're going to save out the garlic for a little while and just let these guys work together. So um, I'm going to leave this, uh, sorry, I'm going to leave you guys for a moment and uh, let this start cooking and warm back up. And I will be back to you in just a minute, and we're going to start getting some more seasoning and worked through this. Uh, oh, would you look at that? My angle's not very good. I apologize. How about that instead? There's our pan. All right. Thanks, guys. See you soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been about four minutes. I've already worked this through just a little bit. Um, 
I'm starting to think I need to turn this heat up just a little bit more, but we are uh, certainly browning the meat off a little bit. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to crank my heat up to a little uh, higher than medium. At this point, because we haven't already, I am also going to add just some salt. to get all this working and um, we're going to get the garlic worked in if I can get it scooped out with this damn spoon I've got garlic has a tendency to want to burn so the truth is it should probably be in a lot of your recipes one of the last ingredients to go into a saute pan and then we're also going to sprinkle on some of our spice here. Hmm, actually maybe not. I'm going to save that for a minute. Um, I know that we're going to need to drain some of this off, uh, some of this fat off of here, like I said. I don't prefer my tacos to be very fatty. So I'm going to save that until we are certain that we're not going to be draining any of this fluid away. I'd hate to waste the seasoning. So right now uh, we have salt. I'm going to hit this with some pepper. Um, and we're going to keep cooking. I'll see you in another uh, three or five minutes. Okay, back at it. So uh, I do apologize. It's been closer to ten minutes for me uh, getting this volume of meat to be browned up and drained off is taking a little bit longer than it would just for a regular you know if you were doing for one pound so um, as you can see maybe you can or cannot I don't know I'm gonna have to blame the steam there's not a lot of fluid left at the bottom which is what we're looking for here we're going to be adding our own uh, fluids in but the fat for my family at least is not what we're looking for so we're gonna level all this off I'm going to come through here, and because we're doing so much, um, realistically, we're going to put about a half a cup of our seasoning onto the top of this. And then we are going to uh, hit it with some warm water. We've got about three quarters of a cup there. And then I need to open up this can of sauce because I didn't think this through. And by adding a little bit of fluid back into it, it's going to help these spices to mingle better instead of only one or two things getting it. Everything is going to be able to basically stew in the seasonings. Let's just get that mixed through real quick. And then the magic of video editing, we're going to get this tomato sauce in. Alright, so not knowing exactly how much we're going to need of this, I'm going to start with about half of my can. Four ounces of tomato sauce. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm used to working a little bit of a larger batch than this. It looks like four ounces is probably going to be about enough for what I'm doing here today. If you wanted to use tomato paste, you can, but um, just know that it's going to be a lot more of a raw flavor and you're going to need to bring a lot more water to the party. And speaking of, I'm actually going to a little bit more water as well. That three-quarter didn't do as much as I was hoping. It's about another half a cup, okay. And this is going to be enough to at least let us be able to see these juices simmering in here. I'm thinking that we might probably be okay for our flavoring based on our, the color and the smell of it right now. But we're going to have to get a taste test in here in a few minutes after this has had a chance to stew. So we're going to turn our heat down, medium low, and we're going to want to let this simmer, stirring occasionally, to let uh, the new flavors that we brought to the pan, the tomato and the seasonings, allow those to integrate back into um, the ground meat. So I will see you guys again in another handful of minutes. Take care. So 
So, in between cuts, um, I... Well, I say between cuts because I forgot to record a piece. Uh, between cuts, I did a taste test. I made a little bit of a, a um, correction to our flavor. I did end up adding the remainder of the tomato sauce. Um, a bit more of the seasonings, as well as about two tablespoons of uh, hot sauce. And that is going to about polish this thing off. Um, the flavor has definitely got where I want it to be, but the truth is this is very much, um, at this point, something for uh, you guys to finish it off to your tastes. You like it hotter, you like it more mild, uh, more tomato, you can always go that way as well. Some people like less tomato and you wouldn't have had to add the extra. Um, I think the last time I made this, what I made up like seven pounds. And um, so this one has been a little bit weird for me because I just keep trying to overcompensate for more meat than is in the pan. But uh, while this thing is boiling down for the last little moment here, um, I should probably remind you all about the wonderful playlist that Vault Girl and myself have been working on for the better part of uh, a year now. And um, the Gamers and Geeks playlist has been greatly successful, wildly successful, and that's due uh, in large part to you guys, the community. Um, keep making the videos, keep putting in submissions. I love to see this stuff come through. We've got, I think, over 150 videos as of this recording. Um, now, whether it's going to take me a week or two to get this thing actually posted is another question, but um, I really do appreciate everybody that has participated so far. Anybody that is thinking about participating, please do. Um, the one thing we keep hearing from people who've never done it is that it was a lot more fun than they thought it was going to be. Um, so uh, do consider participating. It's, uh, it's actually pretty, pretty fun. It's a little challenging, but at the same time, some of those challenges are really good. So um, my meat here, I'm going to let this simmer down for just one more minute, but honestly, I don't see the need in making you guys wait for that. So um, we got meat, vegetables, a lot of flavor. And after just a little more of this liquid comes out, it's going to be great on a taco. So um, I hope you guys will consider giving this a try. Um, if you have a different way you'd like to do it and you want to tell us about that, that's awesome as well. So please do. And we'd like to go from there. So for the time being, I'm going to sign off. And uh, I, th I think I'm going to let this cool down, get it packaged off and put it into my freezer. And i uh, going to go record another video for you guys. Which one posts first, I suppose we'll find out. But thank you very much for your time, everybody. And uh, happy eating. So we'll see you next time.